I wasn't quite sure how this was going to work out. Now it does work out. So if you are my size, there is hope. Don't give up yet. But we're not going to get the same loose look that the model gets because she's obviously a much smaller person. And this is the size it comes in. You don't get to pick a small, medium, large. This is it. So if you are smaller than me, you're going to get that loose, cute look. If you are my size, if you're large than me, I, I think you're just going to be off the chart. But if you're my size, let's look at this. You can see here, it's ever so slightly sheer. But that really is not going to matter considering the fact that you already are aware of the fact that you've got your little peekaboos here. So if you got see-through here, who cares about sheer here? You're already showing. What we have here are these... Gosh, I wish I could get in just close enough to make it visible to you because I just don't have the words. But it is a weave of sorts. But it almost seems... It doesn't look as delicate as a crochet, I'll tell you that. It really doesn't. Okay, but because of that, you've got some playing around you can do. And when I pull off the shoulder a bit, like so, and you've got your stretch that you can do there. Look, now I've got the sleeves down long the way I like them. Give this a little stretch, stretch, give this, <laughs> give this a little stretch. And here we are with a shirt that fits us much closer to that of the model. And look how cute it is. Now here's the thing, there is no front or back on this. So <laughs> crazy me, if I spill mustard on the front and I still want to wear it, I can flip it around. It's going to look exactly the same, except now the mustard stain is going to be on the back. Just, you know, I mean, if you're weird like me, good to know. I think maybe as I wear it, if I don't, you know, apply heat when drying it, I think as I wear it, I might actually get it to fit me more and more and more. But nonetheless, look, just stretch those arms down a little bit, and I really do look much closer to the way the model fits it. I'm actually recording this in two parts. One part was earlier in the morning, and the other part is now, obviously, after I've been wearing it throughout the day to get a good feel of temperature. Because normally when I wear clothing, I don't go out nearly as much as the average person. I stay indoors. And um, so I've always got air conditioning to help me out a little bit. But I thought I'd take it outside in the Houston heat and massive humidity. See, that's why I stay indoors, right? So it's really hot and humid out there. And for the summertime, um, one of the things I loved about this is, and still do, um, are all the gaps. See, we're talking about built-in air conditioning, right? Let a little air flow. But I need a gap right here. It's not a hot shirt, but I still wanted to take it off and put on something with spaghetti strap, something that had nothing touching me because it was so hot outside. So there is that, of course. You are going to feel the temperature in this because you do have parts of the fabric, and it, and it seems like chiffon. I'm going to go with chiffon. You have parts of the fabric actually touching you uh, along with your beautiful air conditioning. I love this shirt, and I do have a very strong feeling you're going to love it as well. So if you are looking at this shirt on their product page, I want you to get a really good look at how cute this really is on a body that is 5 feet 9 inches tall. I am 39, 33, 39. Well, I hope that gave you a really good viewing of this adorable shirt. Now go out and get it. As always, the info of where I got it is right there below in the info box.